After Gordon had the accident, he had to send him to repair it for the weeks. So Taba had sent Jeffrey to help with Gordon Express for the day. Let's get moving on, Jeffrey. As he approached the station, he saw the signal ahead. It was red. Jeffrey waited and waited. It's really hard to wait. We don't know how long enough that red signal had been red. We must tell the signalman had been no when the signal had been down or it might be faulty. The next morning, Jeffrey was at Never Station to pick up the passengers. He had a plan. Hmm, if I go going past the red signal, it's okay for me. His plans did not go well. As he passed the red signal, there was trouble. Jeffrey derailed right off the track. He was felt foolish indeed. Soon later, they lift Jeffrey back onto the rails and said Top Hat decide that Jeffrey will not pull the express anymore because of the accident prone. So Jeffrey learns about the accident prone until he could be trusted by his top of hat. In few weeks later, Gorn was back in service. He was really happy to pull him back the express after he being repaired. Dexter is the break red coach. Since stuck having saved him from the bed and yard. Now he being restored now. Sometimes he used a school coach, but now he was on the wheels again. One day Dexter was in the yard. Thomas appeared. Hello Dexter. Oh hello Thomas. I might say, I had to take some stones and cars to the docks. That would be a nice change? Of course. Dexter was feeling enjoy himself. He liked to be working with me. Later that day, Dexter was resting. Hmm, maybe it was a special break coach? Charlie had been shunted Dexter into the Gorn Express coaches.
Dexter didn't still wake up. Then there was trouble. Hmm. Uh, where am I? Oh no, I'm the runaway. Dexter had been rolled off the line, lay dazed and confused. Duck could see Dexter. Dexter? What are you doing here and what happened? I don't know. I just came off the line, that's all. Soon they lift Dexter back onto the rails. Dexter had to get back to the yard for the full up inspection to repair it. Later, Thomas appeared again, when he saw Dexter. Hello, Dexter. What happened to you? It was all started when I was a runaway, and I came off the line by the sharp curve. I was amazed and silent. Well, anyone could trust you if you be in the back on the rails again.
The top head knows all about cranes. Cranes have been special equipment where it could lift engines and coaches and cars back onto the rails whenever they derailed. Whenever there is an emergency, engines will able to get the breakdown crane as soon as possible. Today, however, Charlie was curious. Hmm, what if the breakdown crane will be shunted if I was allowed to it? Charlie slowly and coupled to the breakdown crane. He a little bit careless. Charlie puffing a little bit faster. Then it happened as Charlie go around the points. One crane a little bit tilt over nearly derailed but still in the rails but they broke Charlie quickly no one noticed meanwhile there was trouble Hello, James. Oh, hello, Rebecca. Ow. My beautiful, shiny red paint work. Soon I was arrived at the scene of the accident. Oh my goodness. James, Rebecca, are you okay? 
I think so, Thomas. Ah, uh, I not fine. My shiny red paintwork. Don't worry, you two. I'll find a bright down crane. Soon I was racing to the yard where Charlie. Charlie was nervous. Charlie explained how the cranes got be broken and broken as cranes. There was a second cranes in the yard, Thomas. Thank you, Charlie. It was getting late that evening when I was managed to lift James and Rebecca back onto the rails of the upright again, and then I was able to send them to the steamworks. I'm really sorry, Thomas. I shouldn't know about the broken cranes. That's all right, Charlie. Aving made mistakes. Whatever they doing. And all the engines left, especially James and Rebecca. Hey, Oliver. Yes, driver? Do you know how being, you're being so in reference about Tinfield Thunderbolt, the movie. Oh, I see. Hmm. It happens to me when I off the rails continuously. And I continue slitting down. Because my wheels start kept moving. So that's why I couldn't stop. So this is the story for what happened. Ah, there you are, Oliver. I want you to take some empty cars and take it to the quarry. Then, you go straight to the docks. Right away. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Is that means, uh, nothing regretted anything. Oh, alright. Oh no, the rock, the rock! Oh no, 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 no! Oh! Wait a minute. Where am I moving? Oh no. I'm the runaway. I'm still off the rails. Hang on tight. Watch out! Oliver! Sorry, Birdie! What the? Oliver? Help! Somebody stop me! Thank you, Duck. You saved me and you stopped me. It's nothing but, beg pardon, I did derail 
by unexpected surprise. So this is how what happened when Doug saved me from the runaway off the rails. I can imagine that. Don't you? Phew, this is hotter than I thought. Never mind, Ryan. We will get to the sheds. Oh dear. Is that Ryan having overheated? No. No indeed, Spencer. Hmm. <laughs> if I so, I'm a really private engine, I don't get hot. If I don't mind. <laughs> oh dear, looks like Spencer got a karma. I don't know what's wrong with you, Ryan, but we need to take the ballast cars and take it to the docks. Oh. Come on, Ryan. Can you go any faster? Ugh. I can't. There's a kind of a puncture of the hole down there. Might be the water had been leaking. You will better to go to the works now, Ryan. I'm still working on Brazil, and my good friend Raul. Hello Raul, how are you? I'm good, Thomas. How is your driver? Yeah, pretty well, actually. My fireman had to do it with some... ...burning coal. Oh, okay. The next day... <gasps> Caesar sees us! What?! <laughs> oh, Thomas! You made a terrible mess. Oh, sorry, Raul. But, what you said? Caesar sees us. It means cinders and ashes. That's in Burgese. After they cleaned up the mess, I was back to work. First, I need to take some empty cars and take it to the station before or after. As on my way to the station, I was going really fast. I was really distracted. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't hurt. I was going much too fast. And I came off the track. 
Thomas, what happened? I came off the rails, Raul. Thank you, Owl. It's nothing. If I said... In progies... It was a drizzle morning of the island of Sodor. Toby, with a hairy at a coach, arrived at the quarry. Stones lay everywhere, sometimes this way. Percy arrived. He came to see Toby. Hello, Toby. Ooh, it's rainy outside. It is, but almost. Driver told me about the forecast of the weather. He says it was rainy. And stormy. Today. Oh. Soon, Toby collected the quarry cars of stone. Come on, Toby. Let's get to the docks. Soon, as Toby crossed the bridge, he saw the flood. But he had a job to do. He had to deliver the stones to the docks. Soon, Toby was done all his jobs. He parked Harrietta to the shed and returned back to the docks where the manager was waiting. There's a one steel who could take to the docks. Can you do it? Of course, sir. Toby was worried. He think about the flood had been increased. Soon as Toby crossed the bridge again, it happened. He ran out of steam. Toby looked down at the flood. Avi started getting higher and higher. Suddenly, <laughs> poor Toby got stuck. When Percy saw the Toby, he was shocked. Don't wait, Toby. I will save you. At last, Toby was safe. Thank you, Percy. It was nothing, Toby. Whatever the weather. One day in the island of Soda in an arrogant railway, Scholar, Renaz, and Duncan were at the station when a controller arrived. Now, then the controller wasn't there, I decided I had no jobs for you today. I want you to go to explore for the new route. It's called the Gathering Forest. Yes sir, two engines were excited, but they except for Duncan. I would like it to go and explore. I'm going fast. Oh Duncan, <laughs> you're too dangerous for speeding in the forest, don't you? Huh. Soon the three engines arrive at the forest, but Duncan was still boasting. I am fastest engine in the world. You know the fastest engines in the world, Duncan. Going fast, you will come off the rails if you're not careful. Ha! Huh. I will take care of myself, thank you. You better slow down, if you be careful. Nonsense. Uh, 
Oh boy, he will sure end him to trouble. And he was right. Duncan was speeding through the forest. I'm sure, scholarly Nez. Ooh, I can do. Slow down, Duncan! But Duncan couldn't. He was going faster and faster. Then there was trouble. Duncan had been came off the rails by a sharp curve and ended up falling to the ground. Luckily, he started to find a jump clear before the crash. But Duncan had a badly bruises and had been damaged. Meanwhile, Scholarly Renez was returned back when Duncan's driver and fireman came to see them. Scholarly, I need your help. Can you find and searching Duncan? He had fall off the cliff. We will find him, sir. Soon Scholarly Renez were searched down the bottom and found Duncan. Well, 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 Duncan. Not going too fast, are you? No. But I am bruises. I'm sorry. That's alright, Duncan. Life learns have been really safely. One day, Frankie wasn't feeling well. Her engine had been stiffed up. My goodness, Frankie. You're looking green than ever. I was. I don't think I'm not going to work today. Soon, the steelworks caused the top of hat to borrow me and come to the steelworks while Hurricane was working at the lawn. Later, Hurricane saw Lexi and Theo. Hello. Oh, hello. What's wrong? Frankie was away for a while. So I had to work it alone at the steelworks. Well, that sounds awful. I know, Theo. I had to collect some scrap and rails and steels and take it to the other way away as soon as possible. Soon as Hurricane approached, there was trouble. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Well, Frankie, it's nice to be back, but I derail now. Oh, dear. What happened here? Oh, Frankie, you're back. Yes, Thomas. But except for me, I got derailed by the broken track. So who is going to work with me while Hurricane being repaired? I'll do it, Frankie. Thank you, Thomas. One day, the Brazilian controller came to see Thomas and Ravel. Hello, you two. Today is the Brazilian banana party. There's tonight. So I want you to pick up some bananas and take it to the docks before we celebrate the party. Yes, sir. Well, Thomas, looks like we have the race. 
to the docks again. I'm not sure, Raoul. You'll see. Soon, me and Raoul were collecting bananas. Are we ready, Raoul? Sure. Just go on the next shortcut. If we have the race. Sure thing. Good luck. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, Raul, stop! Your train is there! I hope Raul will not win this time. I'll be at the docks first. But Raul didn't win. His train of banana was too heavy for him. Then there was trouble. Raul have ran out of water. Oh dear. I shouldn't get water into the next station before I left. Meanwhile, I was at the docks right on time. Well done, Thomas, but where is Raoul? I don't know. So, I uncoupled the banana cars and searched for Raoul and found Raoul was broken down. Thomas, I'm glad to see you. But I'm ran out of water. Now I couldn't get to the docks on time. I never joined the party in time. Don't worry, Raoul. Blue engines can't do big things. That night, me and Raul were enjoying the Brazilian banana party and watching the fireworks. I hope it is a party. Me too. Me and Raul were happy to be friends and join working in Brazil in whole many.